One of the things that has changed in the way these subjects get talked about is we used to just kind of assume, yeah, we're probably never going to fully understand what others are going through and what they feel, but we don't want to get in the way of people doing what they're doing. That was the attitude before. But what's come up now is, well, if you don't understand what these people are going through, then uh, we're going to hound you until you do, or until you say you do. Then it's combined with this ideological movement, the whole dogmatic sociology activism, to where the whole thing is to get people to make the statements that such and such is wrong and basically pushing the whole good versus evil concept but it's okay this time because it's based off of uh, uh, it's based off of academia right and they want you to agree with this idea that such and such is evil and if you don't well then you'll get to hear how you're evil and that they have these slogans they can say that declare that they understand something even if they don't they can just say they do and they'll say these slogans and they'll say these little buzz phrases and it means they're a better person and and then anyone who has any sort of argument against uh, any part of what they're saying well you're a terrible person because you don't believe in good things um i don't think a lot of people who are pushing this sociology dogmatic activism i don't think a lot of you actually understand a lot of the stuff that you're saying you're just caught in this well we need to do the right thing because we haven't been doing the right thing and and we'll never do the right thing until we force the right thing on everybody as if that's the right thing you know that that's sorry that is that there is no difference between that and when re religions do it there's it's it's the same fucking thing you know, technically, you, you can't call it a religion because it doesn't have a god, but it's doing the same thing. It's accomplishing the same thing. And people are being just as blind by this. And I would say it can make people even more blind. I'd say most of my friends who are Christian, I would say, even though I disagree with the number of things that they believe, I... I would say that they seem to have a much more reasonable and balanced way of, of looking at the world than this. Well, we have to do things according to this progressive stack and, you know, because that's the right thing and it's the scholarly thing. And you want to be scholarly, don't you? Because if you're not scholarly, then, then you're stupid and ignorant. You don't want to be stupid and ignorant, do you? Learn the lingo. Say the message. Spread the gospel because the world is filled with evil people and we need to change that. And if we make you attend 10 diversity seminars in order to keep your job, we'll be sure to do that. But, you know, I compare this to, you know, my Christian friends. Now, this is the Christian, my Christian friends. There are a number of people out there who I would probably never have as my friends. We... I mean, maybe if we, I met someone and we talked and we just got along or whatever, and they happen to be, you know, have, you know, uh, God, what's his name? Well, like like Westboro Baptist Church kind of beliefs, right? You know, if the friendship was was good and and the guy treated people on an individual level decently, then you know, whatever. But I find this dogmatic sociology activism to be far less tolerant than any of my Christian friends, than any of the Christians that have had a, made a big mark in my life, even. They don't go around, and I, I, I haven't had the kind of friends or associated with the types of people who will sit there and get in people's faces, or maybe punch someone, because, you know, they don't believe in God, or they don't you know, uh, I, I haven't I haven't hung around people like that. But let's take this to extremes. The whole Westboro Baptist Church thing—they don't get violent. They push people's buttons as much as they could. 
But they didn't make demands on people and then use sociological wording to declare that people are pieces of shit for not signing up to their ideology. I mean, Westboro Baptists, they pretty much go around preaching, uh, oh, believe in this book of fairy tales or, or this God in this book of fairy tales will make you burn forever after you die. Oh, that's, that's nice. You know, it's not a declaration of someone's worth while they're living, okay? If, if the worth has to do, if all the worth has to do with what someone is after they're dead, that has a much less effect on how someone feels about some of the decisions that they make if someone doesn't believe in an afterlife. Now, if you believe in an afterlife, yeah, I guess it can, it's, it's, not I guess, it's, it's a very controlling thing. When you're outside of that kind of belief, and you're also outside of the, the sociological dogmatic activism, and you look at the way that, that these different people will get in people's faces and the things that they'll do in order to push their agenda, Westboro Baptist Church is, is tame. Tame. They never punched anyone. They never threatened violence. They make outrageous statements that are, are silly. When, when If you don't believe in anything with their Abrahamic belief, they, they, everything they say is just outrageously absurd and silly. They're not stopping them from going to those very funerals. It's not stopping people from going through certain areas of a city. Nobody's scared to go through those sections of the city. As far as, I mean, yeah, they'll have to listen to these people. Oh, look at these people saying all this bullshit. But they never fear that they're going to be attacked. They never fear that... I mean, all the stuff that those preachers say is all the... It's just a bunch of standard bullshit. Standard bullshit. But when people get so... Go to extremes in their activism, in this new activism, it's scaring people. That's right. You're scaring people. And there's going to be a point in which some of the behavior from some of these people is going to be considered terrorism. What happens when larger than 5% gets considered terrorists? I mean, truly gets listed as terrorists, not just being on some watch list, but I mean seriously get considered terrorists. What do, you, what do you think would happen if 5% of, of our population, just the 5%, what do you think that would do? Do you think that would increase terrorism or decrease terrorism? I think we all know the answer to that. I see it no different when someone will come up to someone and just start harping about uh, uh, privilege and and uh, you know toxic masculinity and all these things that if you actually look into the sociological dis you know uh, uh, material about this stuff those phrases mean something different than what they sound like on the outside and anyway uh, but it's you know when you when you're talking to someone who doesn't already know what those things are it's just and it, see the same thing goes with religion right um then what they're saying just is utterly toxic. It's nasty. It's foul. It's not really being that much of a step away from Westboro Baptist. You know, you're you're making sure you're you're kind of getting. I mean, that's I think that's worse than Westboro Baptist because at least Westboro Baptist they they stand around just these these singular spots. You know, that's where they're going to be. You know, big deal. But when you're somewhere and you don't know whether someone's going to suddenly get in your face and start preaching to you about privilege and, and all this stuff. You know, the, the things that I was afraid of coming from the right seem like they're coming from the left. You know, I was worried that people would be just called out in... Uh, and this is I, I was so wrong about this, right? That people were just going to start being walking down the street all oh, faggot and really really harassed and I haven't been hearing of any reports of that right at the beginning right when things were really tense but then it just kind of calmed down and the only amount I've, I'm seeing of, of this nastiness is, is I'm sorry it's coming from of the some of these crazies that happen to be on the left
these soci these dogmatic sociology activists. They'll just get into someone's face. And one has to wonder whether or not the person is going to get violent if you don't agree with them on something. But what's going to happen here? What kind of confrontation is about to happen here? I don't want any confrontation. So it's it's trying to force everyone to have a particular mindset. But remember, if you compliment someone on their outfit, that's sexual harassment. No! No! It didn't work for Christians. It doesn't work for Islam. Although you seem to be trying to make it work for Islam. Um, it, it doesn't work for anyone. You can't force everyone to have the, the same goddamn mindset. And if you don't like someone's mindset, don't have their mindset. Just like if you don't want an abortion, don't get one. If you don't want... If you don't like gay marriage, then don't get married to someone of the same sex. It's pretty fucking simple.